Don't spend all your life collecting this world's treasures. Death awaits us all the destroyer of all pleasures. Every soul shall taste the bitterness of death, so prepare for the day when all your deeds are measured. You will die the way you live, then you'll be raised the way you die, wherever you may be, whether you're in fortresses up high. Perfectly on cue right at its appointed time, they say that death is the only truth and this life is but a lie. That time will come too when your loved ones will cry. Voices trembling as they inform your relatives late at night. So sad you had to go, you were such a nice guy, they said it was in your time, but that's not up to you and I. People will gather at your home when they hear the news of the calamity. Standard formality expressing their condolences to your family. The movement of time is nothing more than an erosion of existence in this dunya. So fulfill your faraid, renew your intentions and hold on to the Prophet's sunnah because time waits for no man. So why should it wait for you? You thought life was just a game until death decided to make its move. You were given chance after chance but now it's too late for you. You procrastinate to prostrate to the one that created you. You see, time is killing us while we think we're killing time. The place where you'll be buried has already been assigned. We deal with death like it's doubtful when the promise is divine. Will you be satisfied when you're lying in a space that's confined? Uthman ibn Affan would cry every time he'd see the grave, the possessor of two lights. May Allah be pleased with his slave. He say that the grave is the very first step into the Akhirah. Who's successful in the Qabr will be successful all the way. But these days we just laugh and joke in the cemetery. Some don't even visit, believe in this unnecessary. Brother, don't forget that even your life is temporary. Don't live your life like death is not in your vocabulary. Others use the term death defying, but nobody's ever defied death. With every step that you take, you're getting closer to your last breath. The cries of the Sahaba, they would drown the sound of the khutbah every time that death was mentioned. Now our own loved ones pass away, yet we show no apprehension. Tomorrow's not guaranteed, but you're still worried about your pension. You were too busy with this world, gave the hereafter no attention. Don't build a life in this dunya by destroying your akhirah. Read and take heed from Surah Al-Waqiyah. This life's a test, you can't retake or restart it. The clot which will make your shroud may have already hit the market. O oh, son of Adam, you're only a number of days and whenever a day passes, part of you passes away. You're a traveler in this world, brother. You're not here to stay, so prepare for the day when your own limbs will have their say. You will regret every moment that you chose to disobey. Imagine standing before Allah while your deeds are being weighed. When people gave you advice, you didn't give them the time of day. You thought you'd practice when you're older, but it didn't go your way. So we laid you to rest right side facing the Kaaba. I just pray the last words on your lips was a shahada. Friends and family turn up to pray your janaza. If anyone could escape death, it would have been the prophets and sahaba. Hear the footsteps of your friends as they walk away from your qabr. Your family is in pieces. May Allah grant them sabr. No should have, would have, could have. Now you can't blame it on qadr. Spoke as if you fought at badr, but didn't get up to pray fajr. Shaitan may have whispered in your ear, but it was still your own decision. Now you're wishing you spent your whole life in a state of submission to angels appear and they ask you three questions. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? Who was your prophet? I pray you state the right answers. Love for this world is a disease. It's a sickness worse than cancer because if you dislike to meet Allah, Allah dislikes to meet you. Remember you have an open enemy that will try to defeat you. Shaitan won't leave you alone. He'll try and misguide you to the end. So if you're losing the battle to him now, then tell me what will you do then? Once the angel of death takes your soul, it will be too late to repent. His advice to myself first and foremost, we all need to make amends. Don't want your soul to leave your body like a thorn branch ripping through wet wool. The world is small, our desires are large, the dirt will ensure we're finally full. Angels of dark faces whipping you, calling you by the worst of names, telling you to taste the punishment of the blazing flame, saying, Oh evil soul, come out to the anger and wrath of Allah. So while you're alive, make sure everything you do is fi sabilillah. Constantly remember death and try your best not to get misled. If you could hear what happens in the grave, then you would stop burying your dead. My brother, you could be here one morning and be gone by the afternoon. That's why we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un.